and welcome to the Crusader Alumni Series. My name is John Marzlikowski. I'm a member of the class of 2015. We have a very special guest here today. He is a member of the graduating class of 2006, played football both here at Canisius and at John Carroll University, and also earned his master's in electrical engineering at the University of Buffalo. Uh, right now, he is an engineer for K&H Industries and is also a linebacker coach for the Canisius football team. Uh, please welcome to the show, Mr. Marty Glose. Uh, Thank you very thanks much. Thanks for joining John. us. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, so, of all the alumni that we've interviewed so far, uh, you are the most recent graduate. Uh, so, hopefully, you won't be digging too far back in the memories. But, um, what are some of your fondest memories as a student at Canisius? Mm. Well, definitely hanging out in the uh, the guidance office. Absolutely, the locker rooms. Uh, and Coach Gemmer, of course, everyone knows Coach Gemmer. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Mr. Fitz was the dean back in my day, mm -hmm. so uh, we had to avoid him at all times. <laughs> so it was it was certainly the camaraderie of the fellows, though. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, you ended up playing football at John Carroll University, uh, as well as getting your master's for electrical engineering at uh, UB. Um, how has Kanisha's prepared you for college, both on and off the field? That's a great question. Um, I wasn't sure where I wanted to go to college. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do or study. I knew that I was good at math and science uh, coming out of Canisius, for sure. Uh, so uh, one of the admissions directors at John Carroll was a uh, Canisius High School graduate. He came here, talked with us. Uh, I said, let's try it out. I took a visit with my family. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, I had the possibility of playing football there. Uh, applied, got in, uh, and coming from a Jesuit institution, there's so many more opportunities uh, that go along with it. Uh, so at John Carroll, I, I, I certainly was uh, uh, above and beyond the, the average student and, and absolutely made me understand that what I was getting into football as well. Uh, I, as far as graduate school, uh, I went to a private Jesuit high school, a private Jesuit college, and then I go to University of Buffalo, which is one of the most international, diverse schools in the whole country. Uh, needless to say, it was, it was a little shock to the system. However, uh, my, my uh, communication skills and confidence coming from Kennedy High School is what allowed me to handle such a uh, great task. Great. Uh, like I said before, you're a linebacker's coach for the... Uh, Varsity football team now? The number one yeah. varsity football team. Yeah, uh, speaking of, uh, four of the linebackers this year were uh, named to the All-State team. Um, so what are some of your strategies uh, to your success as a coach? And do you think being a Kanisha student helped you understand the, the players' situations and get them more prepared? Well, uh, those, are, those are great questions. Um, the kids 100% deserve all the credit. Um, uh, you know, I... I, I I bring them to the water, but they certainly charge right through it. They're they're awesome. They were there all off season, uh, and, and then and then developed in in the summer camp in August, and then were disciplined all the way through into December uh, to create such a, a great team. And w what I can relate from my experience here is I knew what they were going through in the classroom and socially and growing up, developing it at, at the the teenage years, it, it, all that, but uh, I understood that the camaraderie uh, is what was going to pull them through from last year, February to December in our, our state championship game. Mm -hmm. So that is something that I experienced, but they got to really fulfill it. Uh, some of the players that I'm uh, classmates with here, they say you like to jump right into practice just like one of the students. Um, how much does being a coach for your old team mean to you? Oh, it, it's a tremendous, uh, uh, it brings a lot of pride. Um, I, I certainly can't give it up. It is, it is something that helps me transition into my career, my, my post-scholastic uh, years. Um, I don't want to quit playing sports. I don't want to quit doing other things. I, I still want to be a kid every single day. Uh, and so just to get in there and a lot of, you know, my, my justification was that kids are, are, uh, 
are good um, visual learners. So that's why I would jump. Coach, let me, let me do this. Let me do these reps a couple of times, so, so the kids will see. In actuality, I just want to have some fun. Um, and and at the same time, I got to make sure that the guys know who's boss. Uh, but um, it was it was an absolute blast. And 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 then after a while, I had to watch out which uh, which guys I line up against because they'd knock me right over. But that was all part of the plan. Mm -hmm. Uh, now you also work as an electrical engineer at K and H Industries. Um, would you care to give the rundowns on some of your uh, duties uh, for your other career? Absolutely. Uh, so you know it's it's a it's an eight to five, nine to five kind of job, um, and, and I was very fortunate uh, coming out of John Carroll in my undergrad. Uh, I was no way prepared to to get a job, and and, and I I had, was fortunate enough through other Canisius High School alum to, to get internships in Buffalo and things of that nature. And, and I was chill, still trying to figure out what I wanted to do as a career. Um, so I knew that I didn't want to work yet, and I was fortunate enough to get into the University of Buffalo master's program. Uh, once I finished that, I was done with school. I did not want to study anything more. I wanted to get work in, make money, do different things, live, live places. Um, uh, and so... So once I, I fortunately got a job, you know, within a few months out of grad school, and um, so I de I designed circuit boards, uh, specifically uh, wireless communication circuit boards, um, and we primarily sell uh, our products to utility companies. Uh, so we work with temporary power and lighting. Very interesting. Um, Coach Robbins uh, told me, or he is very quick to compliment on how many hours you put in. Uh, with your work and also with coaching, uh, how how are you able to uh, balance uh, such a like a nine to five job and your personal life and also coaching this football team? Well, I think you already know the question. Kenesha High School uh, has prepared me through time management. Mm -hmm. um, you know that is something that we can all constantly develop throughout our life. We sharpen that saw every single day, so we can do things to the best of our ability. Um, you know, I'm not perfect at it. No one's perfect. Um, however, I, I realize what's most important to me. I have this passion for football. Uh, I want a good career so I can, I can live a lifestyle I want to live. I can, I can provide for a family someday, things like, like that. So I begin with the end in mind, but uh, I, I'm able to constantly chip towards that goal every single day. Uh, and so... Yes, time management is so important, but it's easy uh, when you know what drives you. Great. Um, Coach Robbins also uh, told me to throw in that, uh, a little more into the personal life, that uh, you have a bit of a high profile uh, in your dating life. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, your uh, girlfriend is Patrick Kane's sister, I, I hear. Uh, that is correct, um, yeah. So I'm, uh, I feel like I, I speak for all of us when, we ask this, when I ask this question. Um, uh, what's it like? Uh, dating someone from South Buffalo. <laughs> uh, well, they love their Imperial Pizza, and I'm a Mr. Oh, yeah. Pizza guy. Everyone knows that. <laughs> um, no, it's fun. I've always, I've, I've had a bunch of Canise High School guys uh, from South Buffalo, but I can never figure out the roads, Abbott and McKinley, and I don't know how to do any of that stuff. So I'm slowly figuring it all out uh, day by day. But <laughs> so it's a lot of fun. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time. Um, it's been a pleasure interviewing you. Thank me. you very much, John. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for tuning in for another edition of the Crusader Alumni Series. I've been John Marzlikowski here with Marty Gloss. Uh, see you later, Crusaders. <laughs>